a regulatory hearing board rejected a proposal requiring a Vernon-based medical sterilization company to shut down whenever its emissions of a cancer-causing gas passed a certain threshold after a company representative refused to agree to lower the limit. Under the original terms of an agreement, Sterigenics would need to cease operations at its 49th and 50th Street facilities any time air monitoring detected a carcinogen called ethylene oxide at a level that is 10 times higher than the state's allowable limit for two days consecutively, or if it react. The proposal also required the company to immediately build temporary enclosures and eventually permanent dry beds around the facility to better contain the gas, among other changes. The South Coast Air Quality Management District staff and the company had tentatively reached an agreement after months of negotiations, but the hearing board declined to accept it, with board members saying that they felt the limits for triggering a shutdown should be had to put real pressure. The board did not have issues with any of the other requirements. Air monitoring data released by the South Coast AQMD shows that the company has only exceeded the board's amended limits, 18. 3 parts per billion, PPB, over 2 days or 36. 6 parts per billion in a single day, once since May 11th. It has not passed the higher limits initially proposed at all in that time period. State regulations indicate that 100 workers out of a million would likely develop cancer if exposed to ethylene oxide at a concentration of 3. 18 parts per billion for 25 years. Board member Mohan Balagopalan, a former South Coast AQMD engineer, proposed the stricter thresholds, saying he believed the limit previously stipulated to by district staff and the company was too high based on the available data. Sterigenics attorney, Maya Lopez Grass, told the board her client would not accept the amendment to the limit, which left the board with only the option to either accept or reject the previously agreed upon terms. Grass said the cancer risk is measured in terms of 8 hours per day, 5 days per week for 25 years and would not pose the same risk if someone is exposed to a higher concentration for 1 or 2 days.